Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. Hey everybody, it just wouldn't be the holidays without a giant pile of mashed potatoes on your plate, right? Well tonight, we're gonna give you a really simple twist on mashed potatoes. It's probably gonna be the easiest recipe we've ever done, but you know what? We wanna get the wheel spinning in that old brain of yours, or young brain, you know, I'm not ageist. We're gonna roast up some parsnips and mash that in with our potatoes. It's really easy, but it's an awesome, delicious twist. You guys are, are gonna love it. Let's get started. We're gonna take four medium russet potatoes. Now russet potatoes are typically for baking. It's a very high starch content, but it's gonna mix really well with our parsnips. So we're gonna use russets tonight. We're gonna boil them whole because the skin comes off a little easier. And we give that skin to Indy because he needs to be a happy, healthy pup. Or if you like him dirty like me, you can keep the skins right on him. This is my friend, Mr. Parsnip. He's a giant root vegetable that becomes really sweet when you roast them off in the oven. You want to get the biggest ones you can find. Sometimes they get a little wiry and uh, you want a nice fat one. You'll see why in just a few minutes. We have the oven preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to peel the skin off these guys. We're going to throw it on a baking sheet and roast them off in the oven. So we want to roast these off in the oven because it helps bring out the natural sugars, a little caramelization. Then we're going to soften them up by throwing them in the boiling water with the potatoes. We're going to brush these with olive oil and we're going to put them in the oven whole. If you try to chop these up, it's going to be a really tough time for you. So leave them whole, brush them with olive oil, and we'll top it off with a little bit of salt. Off to the oven we go. We're gonna roast them for about 10 to 15 minutes until they start to turn a little brownish. So this recipe calls for a little bit of nut milk. I'm gonna use almond milk, but you can use whatever kind of nut milk that you have at home, or you can use soy milk. I'm gonna make my own almond milk using this Slow Star Juicer by TriBest. Uh, it's a really quick and easy way to make your own nut milks at home. What I have here is one cup of almonds soaking in one and a half cups of water. And all I have to do is pour it right into the juicer. Now you wanna add the almonds in the water nice and slow because you don't wanna jam the machine up. So do a little bit of water, a little bit of almonds, and uh, just keep going until you run out. This is a really quick and easy way to make your own almond milk at home. And this is what we have, and it's delicious, and it was that easy. So here's my roasted parsnips. We're gonna cut the stem off, and we're gonna just rough chop them, throw them right in there with the potatoes. My potatoes have been boiling for about five minutes, so now's a great time for me to add these parsnips and finish them off together in the boiling water. All you gotta do now is just wait a few more minutes and stab one of the russet potatoes with a fork to make sure it's nice and tender and ready to be smashed. Kinda like all those meddling zombies. Well, our potato and parsnips are done boiling, so we're gonna pour out the water into a strainer. We're gonna run it under some cold water so we can pull up those skins. If you don't want the skins on there, all you gotta do is just cold water, and the skins come right off. You gotta make sure that water's cold or you will burn your hands right off your body. We have our parsnips and our potatoes all strained in a nice big mixing bowl for us to work with. All we're gonna do is do a nice rough mash. I'm gonna use my pastry cutter, brass knuckles. Once you get a nice mash on that, we're gonna add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a teaspoon of dried rosemary. Now we're gonna take the rosemary, we're gonna crumble it with our fingers so you don't get any big chunks in there, and then just sprinkle it over the taters and nips. Taters and nips, taters and nips. If you have a uh, vegan butter of choice like Earth Balance or um, any other kind of vegan margarine, you can use that. But we're gonna stay away from that tonight and we're gonna use a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll pour that in. Some black pepper. One to two teaspoons of sea salt or Himalayan salt, whatever kind of salt you got laying around. Um, but you're also gonna wanna taste this at the end and make sure you got enough salt in there because salt is delicious. Last but not least, we're gonna add our almond milk. Start with about a quarter of a cup, mix it up, and then see how much you need from there. You might need a couple more tablespoons after that. So, here we go. Now, at this point, you can use as much or as little almond milk as you want. If you want a nice creamy mashed potato, uh, add a little bit more milk. I like it nice and chunky and thick. Something that holds the gravy. You don't want the gravy to spill all over and then go all over the invade your vegan tofurkey or whatever it is you have, your field roast. You want it to hold the grave. E, you don't want it to hold the grave. I mean, that's scary. Holding the grave? Zombies hold graves. Got some chunks in there. See, it's stiff. It's a stiff tater. Darth Vader nip tater. And we, my friends, are going to chop up some chives for a little bit of garnish on top. You can mix it in with the potatoes as well. Now this recipe serves up to six people, so if you, got a, if you have a million people coming over, 
add a little bit more potatoes and parsnips. I mean, it's just me tonight, so I'm gonna have a little potato parsnip party, if you know what I'm saying. Do, 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 do. Mashed potatoes. Oh man, it's so great. It's not your ordinary average mashed tater that you're used to every Thanksgiving. It's got that added bonus of the roasted parsnip just tickling your tongue with deliciousness. Who likes dessert? If you answered yes, then make sure you stick around for our next video because it's gonna be sweet and delicious. But until then, be sure to subscribe and survive. I'm gonna go find a mountainside to eat these mashed potatoes on. Oh, no, 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 no. Meddling, 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 meddling.